Welcome to the Traders Help Desk Online Video Collection. In this video, I'm going to show you the new THD Potential Entry Indicator. That is the middle column here. And you can see on the British pound, we have a congestion ATL long entry. And then on the 45 minute, we have an ATR short entry. So the one that would interest me would be the 45 minute ATR short entry potential. And the one thing that I would want to do is check to make sure that we had volume divergence. So I'm going to enlarge the screen and simply check to see if we do have volume divergence. And we do. It actually hit the first time here. So that gave us an entry point at that point of time. And you would have been in at 60.10 and would have been risking about seven ticks on that because you do have to offset that stop so I would say that you would at least have your stop at about 20 let's see if I can get it there there we are so if you had entered at 6010 you're risking 10 ticks you want to get at least 20 ticks on that trade so that would be 59.80, I believe. I'll go back and check my figures again. <laughs> Actually, it would be 90. So that would be your first profit target. And let us make that green. And we'll go ahead and put a line on here for your entry as well. One of the great things about entering at the ATR is that you do get a very low risk entry point. I'm going to make that yellow and I'll make this red. And as you can see, you just touch the first profit target. Um, the next profit target would be 70. And this is just using a standard 1 to 2 risk to reward ratio. If you understand volume, you could actually also use volume analysis to bring you out of the trade. And a third profit target would be 50. So now you have all of your profit targets here. Now the clipper does that automatically, but I just went ahead and drew them for you. And if you were looking at the higher time frames, you would know this was the best trade to take because the 180 is bright red. And it's been after a magenta peak. It should actually come back and test this low. And that low is actually at 59.53. So let's just wait and see if it does. And you can see these are picking up all the potentials on all of these different markets. And I've got about 10 markets in here that I'm scanning. You can also see that in the divergence indicators, it will tell us if we have divergence. I'm especially interested in that when the ADX is either overbought or oversold. You can also see that we have the trend ATR for the radar screen. I could tell that this was in a downtrend and actually the 12 minute went from white back to red. So in this case, it was just re-entering a trend. That's the reason I knew not to take that particular entry. So I'm going to pause it for a moment and let's see what happens. As you can see, we're still at um, this first profit target. You would be at break even now. So your stop would be pulled down to at least cover the cost of your trade. So in this case, I would pull it down to about five. Five is gonna cover uh, the cost of trading the contracts. You can also see here in the meter that the British pound is also going down. Again, it just gives confirmation to the trade. While we're waiting on that, I want to show you how it looks on Forex. In this uh, particular radar screen, I've got 13 dif different currencies. And you can see that we're getting a 
ATR long entry potential on the New Zealand US dollar but if I look down at the 15 and at the 60 minute I can tell they're all red I probably wouldn't want to take that because I'm going against all of my higher time frames you can also see down here on the 120 you're getting a congestion short entry ATR long ATR long you can see that the ADXs are blue on these so this these could potentially be turning to the upside and this is measuring all the way up to a monthly so I can see on any of my time frames if I'm at an ATR or a congestion zone and the congestion zone is marked by these little yellow dots on the chart and this is the meter um, before we could only add up to 10 symbols I have modified that so we can add up to 20 at any given time. So you can see here the British pound US dollar is definitely going down. You can see the Aussies going down, the New Zealand, the yen. The New Zealand yen is going down. The US Canadian is going down. Um, really the only one going up right now is the Euro US dollar and the USD Swiss franc. Let's see, the USD JPY is going up and the Euro Yen is going up. So this allows me to easily identify all of the markets and the directions that the market is going. Let's go back and check on the British Pound. It's doing fine. We also have this available for our stocks. And you can see I have the entry column here. And at a glance, I can tell, hey, there's nothing at an ATR and that's the only area that I enter at so this makes it very easy to scan to see what I need to look at the meter now you can actually add more than 10 symbols so in this case I'm looking at 16 well actually 15 different stocks and I can tell which ones are leaders which ones are moving in harmony with the other market just at a very very quick glance and again if anything is at an ATR or congestion zone it's going to pop up at me we do have it available for multi charts as well and I'll bring that over so you can see that we have the meter here and it's measuring all of the futures that I trade you can also see we have the potential entries here and of course it's picking up entries in congestion or at ATRs and let's see if we can get Clipper 2 on this British pound trade and some of you may wonder why I use the meter and gold actually gives you a perfect example right here you see that it is below this blue line that's when we consider the market oversold because this would be negative 50 and this is 50 okay so in this case this is when I start looking for potential longs and you can see it came right back to the congestion dots here and this would have given you an entry into the uptrend that has occurred on gold this morning we're heading very nicely down to this second profit area I am watching the volume because I want to make sure that the volume is increasing. Um, if you do not take profit targets as price moves down or up, depending on your position, in that case you start watching the volume. So I would be very intently watching this volume to see if sellers step in as they should. So I'm going to pause the screen so we don't have a real long video and we'll see what happens again while we're waiting on the British pound 
you can see that on the euro we actually have a potential for ATR long entry but if you look down at volume you can see that the sellers are increasing you would not take that trade and of course over here you've just made an ADX peak too so you really would not want to take that trade but it really highlights what I need to look at very very quickly Okay, I wanted to point out that if you're scalping, you may want to take profits because you're getting a potential magenta peak over here in the three minute. And I'll pull it out some. And the significance of that magenta peak is that it's going to pull back to somewhere around here. Now, because we use an ATR, we have what's called time decay and that means that this ATR is going to pull down as price goes up towards it. So if you're scalping you would take your you know 30 ticks and run. But I'm gonna stay with it because I know that my stop is above this area and right now it's at 59.96 now this is a 45 minute chart so this is not going to end for another 30 minutes so you have 30 minutes of watching this volume for those that watch volume which I'm a big proponent of volume you can see that you had a very clear concise volume divergence there which is typical um, when you're going to get a magenta peak okay so this is a very clear distinctive pattern that tells you okay now is when you're expecting them to test for buyers okay right now you can see that buyers are decreasing as it's approaching this ATR you can also see you're getting an ATR short entry potential here the only thing that's uh, got me a little bit concerned is that we're getting a potential magenta peak over in the 12 minute. Therefore, I'm going to bring my stop down to 59.90. And that way, if it hits the first profit area again, we're going to go ahead and exit. You can see it's flipping the stop over here on the 3 minute. And that is being caused because of a magenta peak over here on the 12 minute and this is really a, a good trade for training purposes because now you're expecting the price to retrace back to the ATR over here okay now this will pull down this price that again that is time decay but this way I'm protecting my profits which is my job as a trader so instead of getting the second and third profit targets I'm taking everything off at our first profit target which was basically about 60 ticks and let's see okay let's delete that and put 60 on here and that's based on trading three contracts you were risking 10 ticks per contract so you got exactly a one to two risk to reward ratio again if you were just scalping you would have gotten 30 ticks per contract which is one to three sometimes it works out better that way sometimes it doesn't you just whatever type of trader you are basically is what it comes down to okay so you see an excellent use of the new indicator we can monitor on all of the time frames exactly what is going on we can find everything that's at an ATR and again this is my typical entry area all of my trades are generated off of either the ATR or the congestion zone so this gives us a very easy way to actually identify all the trades in all the time frames in all the markets and bring them up to the top so we know to look at them